All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this will be another tutorial. This will be a simple, quick tutorial and very basic, beginner friendly. And uh, what this is going to be is a simple sprint added to our character. And what we're going to do first is we actually need a puppet. So what you want to do is go into gameplay and gear, grab your blank puppet, stamp him in. It doesn't need to be on the floor because as you hit play, he'll just fall to the ground. So, what we need here is again, I have guides on. You don't need to have guides on. I'll just show you. Just guides are right here. Guides, grid snap. All right. All right. So, what you would do is we want to scope in. So, the way you scope in is hit L1X, and this will your puppet's logic will pop up right there. All right. So what we need is the controller logic. And this is our controller sensor. And the controller sensor basically is um, all the inputs you know, of your controller. You know, uh, something simple like X jumps, L runs, uh, backwards and forward, left and right. Um, right control, right analog stick controls the um, camera. But if you don't, you don't see it on here because by default, if you don't have a camera that you put in yourself or built yourself, it doesn't. Um, it defaults to its own camera. So basically, if you see, there's the camera. You know, that basically you can circle around your character. All right. Anyways, let's get into the um, actual sprinting. So here we go. We're gonna go next to gadgets. You want animate and you want keyframe, all right? And once your imp turns into this little red, you know, bouncy guy, or whatever he is, a little square, it lets you know that you're actually recording, all right? So what you're gonna do is, L1X brought you into this actual like logic stuff. This will bring you into, L1 square will bring you into your actual like, the puppet, like all the details of the puppet, how this walk speed, run speed, um, all his variables, I guess, uh, how high he can jump, uh, stuff like that. So while we're in this record mode, we are going to bring it to 10. All right. So you can stop recording and then exit it out. So L1 square will open this controller sensor up. And on page two, we have L3. So when you push in L3, like that's a good sprinting button. I think, yeah, because yeah, L3 usually is a good, and then, all right, so when you push that in, he will uh, go into a, he'll run faster. So as you hold it in, hold it down, he goes into a pretty fast sprint, all right? But the moment you let it go, he goes back to his normal run. So say you don't want to have your the player have to hold down the um, L3 button. You want him to just have to push it once and he can run and then he can push it again, basically bringing him back to his normal run. So toggling on and off. And the way you do that is with a sig signal manipulator that's in gadgets, in your logic and processing, and then you have signal manipulator. All right. All right. So then you just plug this L3 here, delete that. Grab this, put that there. All right, so all you need to do is now open up the signal manipulator. I'm not gonna explain this stuff. I'm just gonna keep it simple. So just go to the last one, custom remapper, and you're gonna wanna click this, toggle output, to toggle output on. So basically, if you just stay hovered over it, it'll say toggles the output to on or off when the signal supplied to the input turns on. So basically, once you press it once, it will stay on until uh, you press it again, and you know, and then it'll go off and stay off until you press it on again. All right, so basically, all right, so hit circle to. Don't mind that guy following me. <laughs> He's just an extra puppet in the uh, scene. All right, so if I hit L three, he or down on L three, he continues to run without me having to hold it in. And then if I press it again, it goes back to his normal uh, run speed. And again, and back. All right, that's basically it. And then you can actually uh, 
go into this keyframe if you want to edit it more uh, because there's more um, so then you click on it once and then this right here is an edit so in the end the little red guy comes back and then you want to scope out because if I try to hit L1 square on this now and try to change more details it's going to go into the sculpture the actual sculpt of the character so scope out L1x and then again you can you know jack it up to 15 if you want and you can uh, this is the run his feet so maybe you want um I don't know uh, center of gravity I don't know 10 and you want bounciness to negative 14 I don't know uh, foot separation you don't want that big of foot separation you want t-rex threads you know you can just edit it however you want you know it's this is preference you know and um, again we can see what that uh, looks like I guess stompiness let's bring that all the way up all right and just hit stop recording and let's just see what it looks like so he's running I have him whoa he's really going fast <laughs> all right so hold down all right and basically that's really it very simple way to do a sprint all right all right guys uh thanks again for watching and uh hopefully this was uh, helpful to somebody uh, and i will uh I will see you in the next one. Peace.